from some dark place, some twisted nightmare, has come Uncle Howdy. This unknowable dark entity, he, he makes your skin crawl just looking at him. Many have seen Uncle Howdy deliver messages on screen, but seeing him in person is completely different. Completely unnerving, you mean. There's no telling what happens next. On these rare occasions when we do see Uncle Howdy, you just know something bad is going to happen. Feels like someone is going to get hurt bad. I definitely don't think Uncle Howdy's here to play nice. There's nothing but darkness within him. The real Apollo Crews is here. And his opponent from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews! Made a return to NXT, joined the main event scene there and is doing the best work of his career. Always had the athleticism, but now he has a drive like never before. I think we're gonna see Cruz hit even greater heights than before. We know he has the power, the speed, the skills. Now Apollo needs to tie it all together to reach that next level. Here's the bell, and Uncle Howdy is in the ring. Prepare to watch horror unfold in front of your very eyes. Uncle, hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. On the link. Oh, that's one way for him to get out of it. And a clothesline. Dropping the knee. A Followed up by Penn. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. He eludes the contact. Down with force. Already such an imposing figure. How does Uncle Howdy gain an advantage in this match? No one embraces the darkness like Uncle Howdy. Heck, he revels in it. And that's what gives him a psychological advantage. Uncle Howdy has no fear of the aftermath. No fear of how far he will go to hurt people. What on earth is coming next? <laughs> Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Oh my God. Apollo's composure being shaken with that attack. Yeah, Uncle Howdy came from... No way! Slingshot sent on, yes! Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. The fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Oh, God, that hurt. Look at this deadlift in there. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question. 
question if you skip going to the gym today. And he tosses him back in now. Caught with a lariat. Great counter. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars are actually fairly eager to test themselves. Wait, 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 wait! An easy kick out there. A little over eager with that cover. Big clothesline. Well placed knee, and another rapid knee strikes. Every strike more devastating than the last. Intercepts that attack with a knee right to the stomach. And again! What a ruthless showcase of ability from Cruz on that one. And Apollo Cruz with his patented spin out. Oh, wow. End of the line for Uncle Howdy. A cover. Oh, he was almost finished. His opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. That was a golden opportunity to end things. Now he's got to hope the opportunity presents itself again. Great reversal. Setting foot in the ring now. Compromised position here. Lands face first. Rapid knee strikes. He may be in a bad way here. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Cruz with a retaliation. Every Look at this. Here we go, guys. Dragon sleeper. Locked in tight. All right, this one's over. Tap out coming. He needs to find an escape route. Nice. <laughs> Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Tripped over the top rope. And he sends him into the corner. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. Ooh! Mistake made by Cruz. Big knee to the midsection. Taking this match off the mat now. Oh my God! Misses! Whatever's playing here can't be good. Absolutely exhausted. Put everything he had into the match here tonight. And oh, uh, look who's here. Wonder what this man wants. You can feel the tensions rising.
Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa. This is DIY. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 400 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. DIY. I've been fortunate enough to call many of the wars these two men have fought side by side and against each other. They are a fun team to watch. Two men who have been the heart and soul of NXT. They brought that same passion to the main roster and have quickly become a top team in the WWE. And we're about to see that passion on display. Here comes Gallus. A group of true Scottish hooligans. And their opponents, accompanied by Wolfgang, at a combined weight of 486 pounds, Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey Gallus. Stepping out of the pub tonight to take care of business. I'm sure they're in a rush to get back there, too. Gentlemen, I have a four-word prediction for tonight. Gallus boys on top. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano teaming up tonight. They have seen trials and tribulations as a team and opponents. I was lucky enough to call their wars in NXT, sometimes as teammates, but just as often as opponents. If they can stay united, they're a tough team to beat. Perhaps the greatest tag team in NXT history. Let's see if that success continues here tonight. Well, if you want hard hitting, no nonsense grappling, look no further than Gallus. The Gallus boys are rough and tumble and nothing else in between. I definitely think their idea of fun involves no smiles and a lot of heavy, heavy hits. Boy, oh, you're a pin uppercut. Clean tag for his partner. Big forearm. Couldn't have felt good being sucked around like that. Overhand strike. Oh. What the heck is this manager doing looking under the ring? He can't be acting like this. Tag in. You have to do all you can to break down the larger opponent. Oh, is that really called for? Ouch! That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Delivering nasty stops. 
The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. From the top, a double axe handle. He's lost some of his win now. Oh, my God. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Coming down hard on the smaller, almost dagger-like knee. Getting him into the corner. Ooh, brutal body shot. Tag made, fresh man in. Oh, my goodness. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Oh, what a chop. And now tying up the leg. Straight to the knee. About to be the proverbial one-legged man in the you-know-what kicking contest. Guys, what are they planning to do here? Using the ropes in a, a chicken wing. Now that'll do some serious damage. Tag is made. He made it. Tag made. Line. This match grinded him down a little. Placed into the corner. Wards off that move by Champa. Let's go send off by Joe Coffey. Shoulders down. This could be it. Maybe not. The breakup. You have to wonder how much more can Champa take? This could be his last stand. He skirts around it. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Oh my. Knee right to the back of the neck. Oh. He gets tagged in. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. He got whipped into that corner. Looking a little out of it, up on that turnbuckle. Oh, this could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, the counter. Setting them up. Arm is trapped. Wrench in the arm. Jump slam. That's got to be it. There's two. And he fights it off. So, so close. That could have been it. Now Coffey in control. He takes down his opponent and there is crowning glory. Two. And picks up a monumental victory. Here. And tonight, DIY just couldn't do it. But setbacks only strengthen DIY's resolve. This will motivate them to get even better.
Los Lotharios are here. Here to chase after glory and women. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Angel Garza, representing Los Lotharios from Monterrey, Mexico. Weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto! I have to say, Los Lotharios have always been a threat but they brought a new level of aggression as of late. I agree, Corey, though I think they could probably cut down on the ringside flirting. That's like asking the sun not to shine, Saxton. I don't see how Los Lotharios can win this match if they can't stop making eyes at the crowd. Oh, just you wait. They know in the ring it's time for business, not pleasure. The New Day's own Xavier Woods. Looking as upbeat as always. Xavier Woods is a superstar who's dominant with a video game controller. He can rock a mic and then handle his business in the ring. Yeah, Woods moves around like he entered a cheat code, but Woods is for real, and Woods is as tough as they get. Born in a barrel of butcher knives and raised in a forest fire. Do, do you know what that means, Byron? Because I still haven't figured it out. Yeah, it sounds cool. And here we have the brains of the New Day, Xavier Woods. Many have argued that Woods is not only the most underrated member of the New Day, but actually the most underrated member of the entire roster. I understand that argument, Michael. Just look at Woodsy's body of work inside the ring. Explosive, unique offense, impressive stamina and agility. Combine that with his work outside the ring, and he's clearly the complete package. You would think he would be treated that way. All fair points, Byron. Maybe tonight is the night Woods truly steps out of that underrated classification. Standing across the ring is a very game Umberto. You always have to fear someone with nothing to lose because they're capable of anything. Umberto is ready. You can never safely count out Umberto. If he can stand, he can fight. And if he channels that mean streak, he's going to be tough to beat. Corey, we talk about how tenacious and resilient Xavier Woods is. How exactly do you approach a competitor like Woods with seemingly unending fortitude? Well, the key word there is seemingly. Just try to match Woods' fortitude. It'll be a matter of who wants it more and who can withstand it more then. Was ready for that. Lights out. East River crossing. Oh, that might have just broken something. Score boy pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. That was power. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. Slam. And Woods has lost momentum here. And you've got to give him credit here. He's managed to show even more fortitude than Woods here. And now he's really trying to break him down. Canadian destroyer. This past couple of weeks have really hit the gas in terms of this rivalry. Sometimes people can just get under your skin cold. That's what's been happening here. It's kind of like an itch. Neither side can fully scratch right now. Woods finds an opening. East River crossing. A lot of momentum now on him. 
Humberto's side. Humberto is looking fired up right now. He deflects it right back. Looked in. There's a small package driver. I'm not liking Humberto's odds here. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. There was almost all over, almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. And Wood just tried everything to get the fall, but his opponent is not going down quietly. Drop kick to the face. This match's brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, as Woods knows how to use the fact that his opponent might be underestimating him again. Strong knee connects. He's going for it all. From the top, diving headbutt finds the mark. On oh, a stop. Perfect position. Uh oh. Leg Go for it. Looks like the Muna Lock. The bridge is in. It's. Oh, it's got to be over. The Muna Lock is cinched in. The Muna Lock is cinched in. Oh, my gosh. How in the world did they get out of that? <laughs> she got the. Pa uh oh. We got a cover. No, he gets the shoulder up. That is just pure instinct at this point. Humberto locks the arms, rings up Saturn, submission, cinched in. He's got it locked in. He may not have a choice. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> Counters with an attack on Humberto. He is delivering elbow after elbow. with that springboard. Oh, breaker. It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a hazardous amount of punishment has been dealt. It's got to be concerning. Clearly, neither man is worried about their well-being. Oh, flapjack. Gosh, landing face first. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. And that was an expertly executed DDT. So much damage inflicted. No way! Suicide dive! Whatever it takes to win. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. And the late goings, Woods is still able to distribute an attack. Yeah, Humberto is getting a challenge and then some to it. Humberto isn't being given any space to regroup. Yeah, Humberto is on the wrong side of every exchange. Boom, right across the small of the back. And now gets tossed into the ring. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Woods top row with the... Tonight's winner, Xavier Woods. Tonight, it just wasn't in the cards for Humberto. Humberto was bested. What it's all about now is how he bounces back.
Yeah! Let's get the party started! Whoop, whoop. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter! They love to have fun, but they are all business inside the ring. Get ready for some super athletic competition from Chance and Carter, folks. I cannot wait to see it. And the after party is going to be pretty great as well. There is a chill in the air. The arrival of the bewitching duo, the fire. And their Dawn. opponents, the team of Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. These two women are self proclaimed practitioners and scholars of the dark arts. And they're not afraid to use their dark powers to get ahead in WWE. <laughs> Mischievous, devious, cunning, all part of. Fire and Dawn's dark personas. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's you, that's who. The Unholy Union as dangerous as they are disturbing. Fire and Don ready to conjure up a win. When we see the dark duo of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, we're looking at a team who's hungry and on the hunt for victims. When you call yourselves the Unholy Union, you're not exactly mentoring rookies. This team's not just dangerous. These women possess a power that has the capability to level the entire women's division. Fire and Dawn threaten to unleash scorched earth. And if they have their way, it can very well happen tonight. Well, they're standing across the ring from a team that's already gotten the party started. Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Flips and tricks. Here we come. That's kind of an understatement, Corey. Jaw-dropping offense, tandem moves we've never seen before. That's what Carter and Chance are all about. They love to have fun in and out of the ring, and we're about to witness that yet again. Damage to the shoulder is definitely going to hamper your ability to fight. There's the tag. Schoolboy, no, nope. rolls through. And Caden was scouted there. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. And set right into the corner. Torturous focus on the leg. Punishing the leg. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Winching their opponent. And look at these. And a series of vicious knee strikes to the body. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Sharp punch. Can she score the pin? Getting the shoulder up before two. She's still in this one. Exchange reversing the reversal. Oh, shoulder to the gut. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. The fatigue is setting in for her. Monster set up in the corner. Tag made. She's in. 
Escapes in a nick of time. Fry quick to counter. Counters that. Whoa, leaping through the air. Shoulders down. And she kicks at it too. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Fantastic. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. She makes the tag. She is unleashed. Wheelbarrow Hurricane Rana, very nice takedown. Around and around they went. That's got to change their vision for a while. A tag made. Double team coming. Basement drop kick. Forearm to the jaw. Then kick right to the gut. She catches Katana with a counter. She saw that one coming. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. And that's what we call the tree of woe position, folks. Stuck in the tree of woe. They are doing whatever they please. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. Placed in the corner. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Now oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. Able to parry that one. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. A hurricane runner. Hurricane runner. She can end it here. Just after two. She's still as determined as ever. with a punch. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Tag is made and here we go. Oh man, that was nasty. And the ball right to the nose. Oh God, face first. Chops down their opponent with a kick to the knee. Building up momentum. Beautiful Hurricane Rana. Places her right in the corner. Ooh, look at her answering back. Reversal from Katana. Oh, across the top rope. And the threat of Alba Fire neutralized there. That spirit of chance is pretty hard to contain. Comes in off the tag. Running knee! Hoping to end it here! This is it! She gets the shoulder up. She just will not go away. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stops. Stop it away! Oh, I don't have you seeing stars. Smart strategy, attack the knee. Something in the corner. 
Oh, right to the body. Oh, had it scattered and met with a back elbow. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Into a powerbomb. Now tagging her in. Expected that one. Using the ropes. Drop kick down low. <laughs> Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Gets tagged in. Targeting the neck. Textbook neck breaker. This match is wearing her down. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. It might be tag is good. Tag made. What do these two superstars have in mind? From the top, no, from the shoulders. What in the world? All the way to the middle of the ring. Crashing down hard with a senton. Katana may have put the exclamation. She's looking for the win. And there's the save. She's pushed into the corner. She's in off the tag. Ooh. She turns it around on Carter. Show oh. to the stomach. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. This match is falling apart for her. She is barely standing at this point. There it is. Boom, nice. She's got an answer for that. Reversal on top of reversal. Dawn diagnosing her target. Counter from Carter. Into the corner. This can't be good. Gotta hurt. Tag made. What do these two superstars have in mind? From the top, no, from the shoulders. What in the world? All the way to the middle of the ring into the senton. Serious jeopardy for Dawn. Pin. And there's the save. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Uh-oh. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Look out! Exploder suplex! <laughs> Reversal on champs! Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Oh, wrist lock up to the top row! She set back in under the ropes. Big knee to the mid 
midsection. Carefully placed stop to the arm. She gets the tag. She sent flying into the corner. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Uh-oh. She's fighting back. Dawn with a nice turnaround. Look out! Exploder suplex. No! Suicide dive! A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Up and down! What a slam! She's staying elusive. Some force on that move. Six. Oh! She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. Carter putting her opponent on notice. Beats the count out, and what a close call! Side slam. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. Carter's legs are teetering. Inverted face lock. Driven down with an elbow to the heart. Dawn can taste it now. Two. And a win here tonight. That'll change your career. Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. Chemistry on point. Teamwork looking sharp. For my money, this is the best women's tag team around. Six foot eight, 300 pounds. Here comes Sangha. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Indusheed from India. Weighing in at Wait, 297 what, what, what's going on here? pounds. Well, he's confused. Sangha! And I guess <laughs> they clearly weren't expecting this, and that's what makes it so sweet. He manages to escape it. The ref motioning to get in the ring now. Yeah, I think the referee's at the end of their rope. You can only push the referee so far, Corey. Headbutt to the back of the neck. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. Oh, that hurt. What a counter by Brutus. That'll turn your lights out. This is a pretty dangerous place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, ledges, so much could go wrong very quickly. 
Brutus began his career as a tag team competitor. What should he lean on flying solo in this matchup? Brutus's temper has already taken on a life of its own, but what really helps him is his focus. He's never more dangerous than when he's fully locked in, and having a plan of attack will go a long way for him here. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. And then a stop. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. That's a free throw. Look at the confidence from Sanga. Counters. This could be an opportunity. A stalemate of counters. He went right into that turnbuckle. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. on Sanga. What's he got in mind here? Gut red suplex. Making it look easy. Man. Really just laying it in. Brutus Creed getting ready. Dropped with a suplex. He turns it around. For how much longer? Vicious right forearm. Nice counter from Sanga. Ricking the shoulder. Oh, right to the leg. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Things have really reached critical mass with this rivalry, guys. The best way I can describe the state of things right now is disruptive. They really don't care about how this affects it. Stop dead in their tracks. It's over. Three could not afford the big Damn. shot. He, no way, no way. How close was that? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for him. Everything possible was done to win there, but it just fell short. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Nice hip toss. And it looks like Sanga might be bleeding now. is the move into a DDT. Uh-oh, get ready to drop that bow. Oh, looking to cripple the leg. Sanga may be thinking high risk. Sky high. Down with the elbow. Cover. Two count. Kicks out. He still has life. What do you have to do to put this guy away? This one is headed outside, guys. Close fist connects. Isolating the leg. Leg breaker. Fought off with an elbow. Flipping senton. That was nice. He is mentally and physically exhausted now. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. to the test. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. Oh, man. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. Oh, what an uppercut. John.
Green taking a moment to see if the fan taking flight. Bang! What a splash! Yeah. Hoisted up on their shoulders. Nice oh. reverse fireman's drop. win here from Brutus Creed. Brutus Creed put his power and talent to work here and it sure paid off. Alert the authorities, Dom Dom and Mommy have arrived. Oh jeez, not this again. Cole, pay your respect to the modern day Bonnie and Clyde. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making her way to the ring, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio, representing the Judgment Day. From Adelaide, Australia, the NXT UK Women's Champion and the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley! So, some have called Rhea Ripley the leader of the Judgment Day, so I suppose that makes Dom her secretary. Well, first of all, Saxton, it's executive assistant. And secondly, there are no leaders in the Judgment Day. They are a team of equals, equal partners. That's what Rhea and Dirty Dom are. They haven't even done anything yet, and they're already so smug. You'd be smug too, Cole, if you had a ride or die like Mommy. These two deserve each other. You're right, Cole. Greatness attracts greatness. All rise for the Judgment Day. Tamina is here, and I think it's safe to say Tamina is angry. Nobody's meaner than Tamina. from Pacific Islands, Tamina! Watching Tamina devour her opponents makes my body hurt. Don't even dare try to side-eye Tamina. She'll make you pay for it. She's held the Tag Team Championship and she's a force to be reckoned with in the women's division. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in the vocabulary at this 
point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. Oh, what a close line. Countered it just in time. Firm control. Oh, catches a kick to the face. And a series of vicious stomps. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. And that toss got some hang time. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Just a barrage of stomps. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. A little rope assistance, punishing their opponent. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Oh, from the rope. Will this be enough? She was close to the end there. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Enough already. Ripley with an aggressive game plan here. Precision attacks, courtesy of Rhea Ripley. Grabbing an item from under the ring is perfectly within the duties of being a manager. I notice Rhea Ripley likes to get right down to business in the ring. How do you compete against someone who likes to come out swinging and control the tempo of the match? Well, you have to come out swinging just as hard, if not harder. Matching Ripley blow for blow might be the only way to convince her that you're a serious threat. Oh no, trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Oh, stop right to the hand. She did her homework there. Range down an elbow retaliation. Ooh. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Tamina gets out of harm's way. And some effective offense with that one. Can she keep her down? Just in time. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Oh, and that attack might have put Rhea in check. Yeah, Tamina displaying a higher level of aggression. And that was a well-executed attack. And Tamina didn't see that coming. <laughs> Ripley is headed up top. From the top, double axe handle connects. Drop kick finds the spot. Hip drop. I've been waiting to see that. Producing a trampling. Oh, and that buys some time. She bails in a hurry. She's taking things to ringside. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Big form. Kick to the gut. Here it comes. There's the riptide. Tamina's in crisis mode. Two. What an incredible match and win for Rhea Ripley. stands strong, stands victorious. I sit here right now flabbergasted. Tamina just got overpowered.
Superstar's gonna maybe shake hands to start things here. Always good to see. Always good to start off a match with some good sportsmanship. Uh, oh, it's even better to start a match with a little disrespect. That's not right. Byron, is this what you would consider mind games? Well, it sure seems like it. I'm not sure it's going to work, though. As this match gets underway, there's clearly no love lost in this one. The thing about this is, these superstars don't just dislike each other. They don't respect each other. Uh, in this business, you have to earn your respect. If a handshake doesn't work, maybe a little beatdown will. Oh, man. He's going to try to put him away once and for all. He's out there in no man's land. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Oh, what are they gonna do here? Oh, the clover lead! Check out the torque on the back. It's Bonnie gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. Spine Buster! With a sit out. Nasty. Gets his shoulder up right before two. You don't get paid by the hour, so nothing wrong with trying to wrap things up. Big forearm. The temple's getting rattled. Taking out the arm, great strategy. It looked like Balor's quest for excellence was met with some resistance there. He foiled that attempt. Caught in a bad position here. Small the back. And Ibar is taking control in this match. And he seems to have figured out the key to slowing Balor's pace. Sling blade by Finn Balor. Drop kick to the knee. That's great strategy. Looks like they're zeroing right in on the leg. Best way to keep your opponent off their vertical base. Oh my! Single leg drop kick. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Big elbow. lost any momentum here. A series of disabling maneuvers from Finn. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, man! Boom! Head first! Three. Setting up! Saw that coming. 
What more can be said? I don't even think Finn knows how he kicked out there. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you got to do a little more to finally finish this. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Able to elude. Oh, my gosh. Kick right to the leg. That'll sting. Hoist it up. be feeling so smug picking up the win in this one. Yeah, it's real. I told you so. Energy, humility right out the window. I think this win might just embolden them moving forward. The way they see it, they proved they were right to take their competition here lightly. That just might be, Byron, but I can't imagine how they can have even a sliver of respect for them moving forward. That was a battle. Here's someone who always has a plan and always knows who he's dealing with. It's Seth freaking Rollins. Think of everything Seth Rollins has been through. Everything he's accomplished, he can adapt to any situation. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Seth Rollins is one of the elite superstars in WWE, and the list of competitors he's put down reads like a who's who of future Hall of Famers. If we know one thing about the visionary, it's that he's always down for some action. Rollins doesn't take a back seat to anyone. Rollins enters the ring like a principal conductor about to lead an orchestra. And just like he controls this crowd, Rollins knows exactly what he's doing and can play his opponents like a finely tuned instrument. Just look at the size of Bobby Lashley. Truly almighty. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. The almighty is always on his grind and steps up to any challenge presented. An incredible resume of championship accolades. Bobby Lashley has held the United States Championship, Intercontinental, ECW, and WWE titles multiple times each.
superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, this is the way we're starting, Cole. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. like a neck breaker. Oh, forearm to the back. And Lashley wasn't wrecking anything in that moment. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Lashley just got out of there. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. And he's able to counter. Oh, right down. The line. It's cinched. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Now. Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. And finds a counter. And he goes for the pin. And he kicks out at two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Placing them into the corner. Big time move coming up. Rollins has his opponent perched on the top rope. Rollins there to join him. Oh my goodness, look out! Inverted suplex, and Rollins holds on! DDT! A visionary man doing... Oh, oh. Roll up out of nowhere! And the ref can't even start the count. Not a whole lot of luster behind that kick out. Sure, what they're thinking. Huge toss. Oh man, he has fired up now. Uh oh. German suplex released. Uh oh. Let's go. Oh no. Oh, oh. What a counter by Rollins. He's taking this to the floor now. Hoist it up. Down into the gut buster. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. Now uh, hook it up. Driven down. He must have seen that coming. Slip play! Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And the pace is quick and courtesy of Seth Rollins. Fearless attacks have staggered the Almighty. Lashley may not know what's going on right now. Uh oh, no, don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, not to the belly! Rollins planning out his next move might just be the last one he needs. Stops the kick. Close line. And Rollins couldn't get out of harm's way there. Lashley is still putting it. Oh, maybe time to start burning it down. Rollins is starting to roll. And there's the cover. Oh, barely kicks out. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. 
Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Rollins just a step too slow. And Lashley is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Yeah, Lashley able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command of this match? Oh, what a spear! Rollins may be laid to rest. Looking for the victory! Two! Oh, he kicked out. I cannot believe it, Corey. Seth Rollins is still alive! Next level fortitude from Rollins. And Lashley looking for answers. He refuses to believe that didn't end things. These superstars' bodies must be racked with excruciating pain. This is the true testament. Who can dig down, pull the lever, and become the aggressor? No way. Barrel roll, Tope! Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Uh-oh. Makes him pay with a counter. Ow! And Lashley is as ferocious as ever on the attack there. Yeah, this is no time for Lashley to go soft. We could be in the home stretch here. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Dropkick. Oh no, now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. An extreme amount of... Nice escape. Caught with that sharp elbow. Rollins, kick to the gut. Arms hooked. We're gonna end this emphatically. What a pedigree. No stop. Okay, instead. Oh! I can see up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All oh, watch out. Oh, there it is. Spear! Bobby has this in hand now. Makes the cover. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. The almighty lays it down in victory. Bobby Lashley continues to raise his game. You have now experienced the power of the almighty Bobby Lashley. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship! Simply one of the best to ever do it. Ice water in his veins, 
and death in his eyes. Randy Orton has left the trail of fallen that has spanned over two decades. And there are very few champions in this game who are more decorated than the Apex Predator. And we also know that when Randy Orton goes to that place, it's over. A competitor who knows what he's doing at all times. That's why there's only one Apex Predator, and his name is Randy Orton. Well, Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper schemes stay down for good. Writes his own story in Venom. Randy Orton can't be controlled. The bloodline has arrived. Their dominance is historic. A faction that has amassed unparalleled power. And the bloodline is not afraid to showcase that power. Look, we know every member could be dominant on their own, but they are even stronger together. When the bloodline is on the same page, guys, they are simply unbeatable. Well, they are on the same page, Cole. They've realigned their values, dropped the dead weight, and the bloodline remains stronger than ever. You can see the look of grim determination on the faces of the Bloodline. The Bloodline is here on a mission. A mission to conquer and decimate. And his opponent 
from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Herman Hermes! Ladies and gentlemen, this is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Each man in their corner awaiting the bell for what should prove to be one of the most challenging matches of their career. go superstars finally enter the ring and we are officially underway it orton gets countered there oh impressive counter looking for more damage here and a release back suplex battling at ringside can be very unforgiving you have to be careful out there no protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Listen, Cole, you don't even need to ask what Roman needs to do in this one because Roman knows exactly what he needs to do. Assert his dominance. He's the head of the table. That's what he does. Asked and answered, I guess. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. He had it scouted. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And an elbow. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Reigns had that scouted. Defiant counter to Reigns. Just stomped the hell out of the champ and enjoyed it. Just stomping every single part of his body. Each of those boots seemed to get heavier with each blow. And one more for good measure. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Oh, my goodness. Ah, the champion's down. The champion's down. Oh, my God. We're going to have a new champion. A truly impressive kick out this late. Lightning fast power slam by Orton. And Orton now chaining some offense together. Recover by the champ. This could be a tipping point in this match. Wicked clothesline. Uh oh. Oh, I had that well scouted. And what's this manager looking for under the ring? He has no business down there. After that move, Orton can see the victory in his mind. I don't think you can ever know what's really in Orton's mind, Saxton. Orton going to that place could be academic. From here. Guys, I thought we were getting a new champion there. Uh, well, we might see a new champ here tonight. Don't put the cart before the horse. The champ kicked out and has no intentions on losing that title anytime soon. That should have been it. 99% of the time it is. Orton is seeing red right now. And he's got more work to do here. Hits him with the counter. Oh, the point of the elbow finds the mark. This could be big, going up high, from the top. Nobody home. Double axe handle smash. 
strikes with a kick. Hoisted up. Oh. Suplex delivered. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Steered clear of that. What a spear by Reigns. Can it be? Will the rain continue? There's two. He kicks out somehow. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gasp? Reigns now realizing that he's facing an even tougher level of opponent than usual tonight. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Reigns plans in motion. Lift off. Oh, and he doesn't connect. And just look at the damage to Reigns' face. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Ooh. What impact! Oh my goodness! Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Kick to the gut creates separation. Kick to the gut. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From the top. Nice handle. And Rain still isn't finished handing out punishment in this match. These do or die moments are when Roman Reigns is at his best. Reigns. Another one bites the dust to the champ. Two count, kick out, still has hope. That's how much winning this title means to give everything you've got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. It's not often we see the tribal chief held up in the one yard line. You have to think Roman will want to dial. Okay, oh, that just happened. The title might change hands. And a new champion is officially crowned. An exciting match that concludes with a title changing hands. People are going to be talking about this match for a long time coming. Yeah, and we had the distinct pleasure of having the best seats in the house, gentlemen.